Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for being here. Just to give you a brief update, we are joined by our Atlanta Police Chief Rodney Bryan, also by Deputy Chief Charles Hampton Jr., uh, our Sheriff for Fulton County, Patrick Labatt. I know that we have other partners here as well who have responded uh, to today's incident, including our DeKalb Police Chief, as well as Georgia State University, Georgia Tech, uh, the Fulton County Marshal's Office, Homeland Security, Georgia State Patrol, Union City, and others. So I uh, just want to, one, express our gratitude for the swift partnership and assistance today. Uh, Chief Bryan and Deputy Chief Hampton will give additional details. Um, but what I can tell you um, is what we already know, that while so many of us run from danger, our officers run into danger. And that is what happened today. We had two officers who initially responded to a shot fire call just a couple of blocks from here. Uh, these officers were ambushed. Uh, and even with one of the officers being struck, uh, they quickly uh, responded. And uh, the courage that was displayed really i don't have the words to describe so to all of our members of public safety uh thank you for what you do for all of us in continuing to keep us safe and unfortunately what we have witnessed today is what is the absolute most dangerous aspect of this job but even when faced uh, with these very dangerous and very uh, quick moving uh, circumstances, our officers showed extreme courage. Um, out of respect for the families of the officers and to give their families ample opportunity uh, to be notified and informed of what's happened today, uh, we are not releasing the officer's name yet. That was struck. Um, and we ask that if you come across that information, that you also be respectful of the family just to give them an opportunity to properly be notified and, and to be able to process the information. But as soon as we are able, we will release that information to you. And um, with that, I will turn it over to Chief Bryant. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Rodney Bryant, City of Atlanta Police Chief. Uh, as the mayor stated, earlier today we had an incident where a call came up where officers were responding to shots fired inside the building. Officers responded. Uh, it is only uh, through their training and by the grace of God that these officers did not come upon, come upon more tragic situations. We do have one individual that was killed. Uh, that is still being investigated by the Atlanta Police and Georgia Bureau of Investigation. As the mayor stated, we will not give out the officer's name at this particular time. We want to make sure that we are respectful to the families of both officers. Uh, and as soon as we are able to give that information out, we'll be able to do so. Uh, right now, uh, I can tell you that the officer that was involved, uh, the officer that was sh shot, uh, is uh, stable at this particular time, and he is talking to uh, police and his partners, as well as his family members uh, at, th at this time. Again, I I'd be remiss if I did not acknowledge our partners as the mayor went through a, a litany of our supporters, our local partners. Again, it is that partnership that we operate in every day that allows us to respond quickly and rapidly throughout this city. Uh, we are joined by Fulton County Sheriff and DeKalb County uh, Sheriff as well. And again, it's the, it, we lean upon them for a strong partnership uh, to make sure that we keep this area, not just the city of Atlanta, but the region itself safe. Uh, Chief Hampton, uh, chief of investigation will go into more detail as of what happened, being that he's the, the one that will be able to explain what needs to come out, uh, be, being that this is still an active, a very active and early on investigation in this case. Good afternoon, uh, Charles Hampton Jr., Deputy Chief of Code Investigation Division. Again, early this afternoon after 1 o'clock, officers did respond to the address of 710 Peachtree Street on a person shot. 
officers did go up to the building. Two officers did go into the building upon uh, exiting the elevator. They were immediately approached with gunfire. Officers were able to return fire uh, where we believe that the uh, one suspect was uh, fatally struck. Uh, officers then were uh, escorted downstairs and transported to Grady Hospital. Uh, right now, it's still early in the investigation. Uh, the other victim also, uh, there was a victim in the original shooting. That person was transported to a local hospital as we well, are currently they are in stable condition. Uh, we are working with the GBI. Uh, they would take the lead of the investigation as far as the officer involved shooting piece and the homicide uh, major investigation team would handle any other criminal aspect that any other criminal charges will be uh, uh, executed. Uh, but right now, again, we won't release any names. Uh, we still have not uh, been able to identify the uh, suspect. Uh, so we don't have that information as we speak right now. Uh, and it's still very fluid as, as we speak right now. Uh, I, I, again, just out of respect of the family, uh, I don't want to give out that information uh, right now. Uh, Where did the shooting take place? Was it on the ground floor as part of the elevator? This, the uh, shooting did take place on the eighth floor of the building. What's Are you looking for anyone right now? Right now, it's still early in the investigation. We believe that we may have everyone uh, that, uh, a hold of uh, down at headquarters and all scene. Uh, but right now, we're just still making sure that the scene is de uh, deemed safe so we can further investigation. How many total people do you have account for uh, on the suspect? Right, again, right now, it's, it's still early. Uh, so right, what we do know is that one off, uh, suspect was shooting at the officer. Uh, and again, we don't know uh, who that suspect, they came with anyone. And so that's why we have to do our investigation to obtain any more information. So did I hear you correctly say that officers were met with gunfire uh, as they got off the elevator? Were there, any, were there any other units that were hit? Uh, 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 it's still an investigation. So we believe that there may have been some uh, defense that hit some apartments. So again, we're still checking to make sure that no one else is injured inside the uh, uh, apartment complex. Right now, yes. The original shooting that led to the call, the suspect that shot as the officer getting out the elevator, do you believe that suspect committed the original shooting? Right now, the investigation believes that may be the suspect. Is. And where did your original shooting take place? On the eighth floor. Well, Inside an apartment? Inside the apartment, yes. So, so, you know, the, the man who uh, shot the police officer, does that matter, shot and killed by the officer? Again, that's what, we believe, that's, that's what we believe, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, the word ambush was used earlier. Was there any ambush aspect to this? The, as soon as the officers, the, the elevator door opens, they were met with gunfire immediately. Uh, and so that's what we talk about, ambush. So, again, the elevator door opened and they were shot upon. So, yes. With the two suspects shooting the officers? I, 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 again, right now, we believe that there may only been one suspect that was fired at the officers. Last question. So there is a second suspect? That, we, we don't know. Like I said, right now, it appears that there's one suspect that was shooting at an officer. Uh, we don't know if the suspect was with anyone else, uh, but one suspect that we believe that was shooting at the officer is deceased on scene. Thank you. Thank you.